So it seems in the Maldives that we have cleaning stations in very obvious locations. Um, so there are places where currents converge, where a reef is next to a white sandy area. So again, it's a very visual reference. Um, so it looks like mantas are attracted to sites where there is a, a visual uh, or other reference, like a current convergence um, nearby. Um, the majority of sites, as I showed you in the maps earlier, are on the edges of the atolls. Um, so they are ocean-facing reefs. And uh, I often get asked the question, so what happens when the mantas don't come? Do the, the, do the cleaner fish go hungry? No, not at all. When the mantas aren't there, they just clean other things. So again, I've watched Lancan for many hours. When the mantas weren't present, there'd be parrotfish and tangs and all kinds of things, including white tip sharks, would come in and be cleaned when the mantas weren't around. Um, and remember, for six months of the year, you know, the mantas aren't going to be around anyway. So all the more reason that they need to clean other things. We know that mantas, well, we now know that mantas uh, clean maybe once a week on average, um, maybe every day, and maybe as infrequently as once or twice a month. Um, this is uh, current research, which is uh, just in review. And that uh, when they visit the cleaning station, they spend an average of 35 minutes at the cleaning station, um, but can spend up to nearly four, five hours. Um, and we'll only spend a couple of minutes. I would imagine that probably if they're, if they're only spending a couple of minutes, five, ten minutes at the cleaning station, it's possible that the presence of divers may have disturbed them. Um, but certainly, you know, we can see there's a lot of mantas spending 20 minutes, and I said on average it's, it's kind of 35. But we can certainly say that a cleaning session lasts for around 20 minutes. Okay. Um, but some manta rays do spend four or five hours. So maybe you could take that in combination with uh, the fact that we know that they only clean about once a week. So it may be the ones that spend 20 minutes or half an hour come two or three times a week, four times a week, and the ones which come uh, for four or five hours uh, only come once a month, because then it would average out. Um, again, more research required, but uh, they do clean relatively frequently. Um, but unlike reef fish, which clean every day and many times each day, but usually only for a few minutes at a time, mantas tend to clean in, um, a, you know, a, for a period of, say, 20 minutes, half an hour, let's say. That would be a realistic appraisal. Again, I get asked, um, so what's the best time of day to go and see mantas? Is it when it's a strong current, when it's a small current, when it's high tide, middle of the day? And I have to say, every cleaning station is different, and it's very different, difficult to generalise. Um, so at some cleaning stations, the manta rays like strong current, and other places they will not attend the cleaning station if there's a strong current. I would generally say that the morning and the middle of the day are the best times to see mantas, but at certain, at certain cleaning stations they're present all the way through till four, five, even six o'clock in the evening. So it very, it's very much cleaning station dependent. Okay, so this is actually shot at Don Carlo, which is in North Arry. And this is a reef flat um, and a slight side of a tealer. And this area is usually on the downside of the current. And although it's very hard to see, this flat area, which looks very barren, is actually completely covered in um, blunted wrasse. Um, there's just thousands and thousands. Can you see these little dots in the water? These are nearly all blunted wrasse. So there are literally thousands um, buzzing around on the bottom. And the mantas usually um, swim in from the ocean, and as you can see, they're just hovering over the cleaner wrasse. At this site, there's usually a bit of current, so what they normally do is swim uh, facing into the current, which is what these ones are doing, and then they circle, so that they're swimming away from the, from the cleaner fish and then coming back into it, so that they're swimming into the current so that they can oxygenate, because whilst they're being clean, they also need to breathe. So the manta opens its mouth just slightly to allow water into its mouth, um, that's not to breathe. That's, that now it, this one is actually relaxed enough that it's actually opened its mouth to allow the cleaner fish into its mouth. Okay, so this one is now hovering slowly. And you can see all the cleaner, um, the cleaner fish, mainly blunted wrasse, uh, all over the manta. And I said at this site, we'd often see 10, 20, even 40 manta rays all being cleaned at the same time. So literally thousands of cleaner wrasse being involved. The trouble is with this site, there's nothing very obvious. The reef is very kind of broken up, sort of sandy, rocky. There's no pretty reef. 
there's nothing obvious um, which would indicate that this is a cleaning station area. And uh, at the moment, like I said, this site, mantis aren't visiting anymore. And this is, uh, I don't understand why, uh, wh what has happened. It, it, but it is possibly due to, due to divers visiting the cleaning station and, uh, and going on top of the cleaning um, area, and it's put the mantis off.